both sides of this part are produced to a really tight tolerance at the same time. How can you do that? It's with Centro Drive from Fast Cut. So Clyde, it looks like a standard aluminum component, but you're making this in a fascinating way. How are you making it? So we are clamping the parts in the middle and then turn the both end at the same time. Give the parts really good run now, then conversion away. Yeah, absolutely. So the components that we see, a lot of examples you're showing on the stand here today, loads of different uh, materials. Uh, what are the components for normally and what requirements do those components place on the machine? Usually requires really good run now at the uh, two ends. We do a lot of parts in a transmission box. So this shaft is going to transfer power. So we have to make sure two of two ends have very really good concentricity. So on a same stand away, uh, conventional way, we mill the both end and then drill the center. So this will make whole process longer because it's not easy to adjust the concentricity on the both end. But then we, we start to clamp the parts in the middle and then turn the both end at the same time. It gives us really good concentricity on the both end and make next process easier and faster. And then also bring whole uh, investment low cost now. And also we have a less uh, full space. Yeah, absolutely. So to maximize efficiency in power transmission, for example, run out on both sides of the shaft needs to be absolutely uh, crit is absolutely critical. Um, and yeah, it's, it's amazing that you'd actually, you're then clamping on what is actually, it's, it's an unfinished surface, but you're actually getting really good run out. What can you expect from a machine like this in terms of run out um, from both ends on the shaft? Yeah, so from the cold forging, you know, really rough surface, we, 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 we got uh, less than 20 micro uh, run out, we measure from the both end. So how do you actually produce this? What's the construction of the machine? So we put the spindle in the middle and then we have a two turrets on the both end. So this allows us to cut the both end at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. So the spindle in the middle has a clamp and that's really, really simple. And then two turrets either side. And I guess that means you can produce loads of different operations on both sides. On both sides, you basically almost got two lathes put together with driven tooling. You can do boring. You can do outer, uh, outer diameter turning. Yeah, exactly. We have uh, these two turrets are controlled by two different systems. So we can program uh, different uh, operations on different turrets. Absolutely. So why would customers need a machine like this to produce those components? So the customer will need a higher run out for their shaft. And also if they need a faster cycle time, if we use a conventional way to do it, they need to use phase drive center to do the next operation. But fast cut center drive, we already turned the both end. They need just, they could clamp the turn OD and then have a deeper cut to finish rest of operations. Absolutely. So it makes it much easier down the line. I guess when you're doing really high volumes, saving that cycle time will cost you, will save you a lot of money uh, in the long run. Um, really interesting. And what I find fascinating is you've been producing these machines for 20 years. Yes. So we have uh, produced this machine over 20 years. And then also this machine, we have a pattern over different countries. We use the hydraulic chuck to calm the parts. So it gives us really strong clamping force. And then we also can adjust the clamping force. So we, we will make sure the parts, the shaft is not being bent by, um, by our hy hydraulic clamping force. And with that 20 years of experience working with customers to produce high volume parts, how do they get the best out of that machine and maximize the productivity once they're making lots of these kinds of components really fast? We really try to get involved with the customer when they start to building the line. And then we, we look at the tag time they expected. And we also designed a special tooling for them to save the tool changing time. We also try to design the loading system for them to, to, to depend on their flow requests. Like they want to pass come in from the left and then flow out from the, on the right. And we build the customized infit, com, uh, infit conveyor for them. And also for the gantry, we try to, to, to run as fast as we could. 
Yeah. And when you say gantry, you mean this is a fully automated uh, gantry loading system for the machine that you built yourselves as well. Yeah. When we build by ourselves, we can really um, achieve the customer expectation. Absolutely. You can control what happens with the automated machinery and the machine itself. And when you're automating, it's really important to try and make sure you have a reliable process. You can't just pump out uh, components. They need to be good components. They need to be controlled in the right way. How do you make sure those components are good quality? So the machine in the show right now, we put the MAPOS auto gauging system. So every part come off the machine. We have a touch board to check the parts dimension for this uh, for this system we check the overall length of part and also the dimension on the both end so we will make sure there's no bad parts flow to next process so the customer also can assure assure to their customer there will be no bad part uh, flow flow to their to their factory to their factory absolutely and also once you measure if there is a two tooling ops uh, way out, the s- auto measure system can auto then auto comb the CNC. So we'll make sure the dimension is always in the nominal value. So we keep keep the very good CBK values. Yeah, you can imagine that it would cost a lot of money if you were sending out lots and lots of parts, very high volume that were not the right quality. Um, so it's really important to do gauging and make sure you do your inspection. Uh, and also, it's probably a very good proof of the, the quality of the machinery and the consistency of the machine. If you're testing every component coming out and every component is coming out to less than 20 micron in runout um, for such precise, especially with power transmission uh, components. Brilliant. Cool. So that's a fascinating way to produce um, shafts holding on a, a, what is going to, I guess, can't otherwise be described as a rough surface, but producing some accurate and maximum precise shaft components. That's here. That's the Centro Drive technology from here at Timtos. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you.